Don't you dare be sour. Clap for your longest reigning tag champs and feel the power. <laughs> Michael Corey, time to hop aboard the positivity bus because the new day is here. I hope your positivity bus drives right into a bridge embankment. Take that back. You eat your bootios with like almond milk? Well, of course, I have a sensitive system. Well, say it with me. New day rocks. New day rocks. All right, let's keep our solo party. with Anderson Gallows earlier today. I said Byron Saxton. You know what they said? Let me guess. I got this. Nerd. One of the all-time great tag teams, legends in Japan, former tag team champions here in WWE, as big and bad as they come. Their motto's always been very clear. We're here to beat people up and win championships. A couple of good hoots looking to make a trip to the pay window. WWE World Tag Team on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 490 pounds, Big E and Xavier Woods, The New Day. And their opponents at a combined weight of 505 pounds, they are the world champions, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. What a night. Tag team action is underway. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. The club's biggest member, Luke Gallows, is in action here tonight. And he's a true good brother if there ever was one. This might be it. Oh, my. Whoa, and a bit of a test of strength here. Damn it. What a stomp. Good grief. Boom, right across the small of the back. Impact.
When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss, maybe even more. technique. Whoa. Such vicious strikes. Carl Anderson and partner Luke Gallows reached the pinnacle of tag team competition when they beat Cesaro and Sheamus for the Raw Tag Team Championship. The match was part of the 2017 Royal Rumble kickoff show on the WWE Network. There was such a high probability of Cesaro and Sheamus cheating that there had to be a second referee appointed to officiate the match. Ooh, what impact! When Anderson and Gallows defeated Cesaro and Sheamus for the Raw Tag Team titles during the Royal Rumble kickoff show, it represented a new era in tag team competition. Joel came to WWE by way of Japan with the goal of taking over. I know it's difficult for you to be unbiased, Corey, but if you look at how Anderson and Gallows won the Raw Tag Team Championship, it will clearly show why a second referee was needed to officiate the match. Don't let the facts go away of good story. Oh boy, he is rolling. In May of 2017, smack, boom, rocket kick, boom, rocket kick, incredible. I don't think this is the right time for Carl Anderson to be showing off. And Byron, this takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael. But you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide to get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Man, oh man, when a superstar gets leveled with the honor. And he's all set up now, and here it comes. Ooh, Love this move. The honor roll. This could be it, guys. We know what this is. It's a stampede. The honor roll from Xavier Woods will put his opponent away, and it displays Xavier's superb agility, strength, and balance. Guys, one thing that impresses me about Xavier's honor roll finisher is that he can make room almost anywhere to nail his opponent with it. I don't know how much more Carl Anderson can endure. I agree, Carl. It's about time to hit the showers and drown your sorrows. He's looking for the win. And he breaks the pin. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. With Xavier Woods, Big E, and on the move! Oh! Oh boy, he... Oh, oh, incredible elevation from the big man. Carl Anderson definitely looks off his game here tonight. Carl Anderson's just getting overwhelmed. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his soul ever does. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. 
When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second. Boom! Rocket kick! Come on, Big E! This is Carl Anderson's chance. Luke Gallows in with the tag. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing move. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. At the uh -oh. oh my goodness, crushing it! Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Gallows gets that shoulder up. Uh-uh. A superstar needs a strategy going into every match. To have any sort of chance against Big E, you have to find a way to take away the man's power. Bang! Carl Anderson tags in. Here we go. Carl Anderson is setting up. And boom! With the cutter. The title is quickly into the cover. With the title on the line. Yes. Champion three. They did it. Wow. What a match. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. I remember this part very well. He ain't messing around. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Here are your winners, and still the WWE World Tag Team, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Talk about having to dig down deep to pick up the win. That is what I like to call a statement win, Michael. And I'll tell you, the roof nearly blew off this place in Rosemont when the bell finally rang to end this one.